Hi everyone, and today I'll be reading a Shao X listener, so let's get into it. Shao has been the love of your life for as long as you could remember. You have loved him from afar for a very long time, but there are main differences that set the two of you apart that made you on the furthest ends of the spectrum, and you knew you could never reach out to him. But with him being an adepti, and you being a regular human, you thought that that would be the one thing to set you apart, and the fact that he refused to let anyone come close to him, that he didn't trust anyone to keep themselves safe, once exposed to his nature. But, perhaps you are wrong. Maybe the entire time, you simply weren't worthy enough of being with him. And that's the main reason why the two of you were never meant to be. Your heart hurt the first time that you saw him with her. Yelan. He knew her. The owner of a popular tea house in Lia. And of course, she worked with Ningguang. But it all started hurting when you noticed how Sha talked to her. They talked as if they were not acquaintances. No, but friends. Shao gave her a look that you had never received from him. No matter what you did, no matter what you've done with him, it didn't even touch the basis of what his relationship was when he was with Yilan. Yilan was special to him, and he seemed to love her to a degree that you couldn't even understand. You saw him protect her. You saw her care for him. You saw how he was ready to do everything so she could be happy. All while he simply called you a friend. Sometimes, that honor that you got from being Shao's friend now stabbed you in the back. Especially right now. Well, I have an important question for you. Of course, Shao. Go ahead. How can I help? You see, I... I have feelings for Yalan. And I'm wondering how to confess to her. I don't know how you do it. It's confusing to me. I don't understand. How do you do this? What can I do to make her happy? I know it's a tall order, Yalan. But I would appreciate your help. And tomorrow... Would you, perhaps, come help me pick a gift for her? Oh, you are being really stabbed in the heart now. You barely held back your tears, giving him a sad smile and nodded. Of course. I mean, what kind of friend would I be if I didn't? Friend, that's all you were to him, and that's all you will ever be. He would never see you as something more, no matter how hard you tried, no matter how much you did. Yelan was more beautiful. Yelan was more kind. And she was much more talented and interesting than you could ever be. She was powerful too. Someone strong enough to be able to withstand his karmic debt. Someone powerful to stand beside him. Not someone like you. Someone who would hold him back. That's all you could ever do. And perhaps, that's what he saw in you. And that's why, he never approached you. And never loved you. It hurt. You mulled over these thoughts day and night. And until you were with him in the shop. The way he was excited. The way there was light in his eyes. That you have never seen before. All because he was thinking of her. Telling you whether she would like this or not. Telling you what colors she loves. So many things that he had never bothered to ask of you. It felt like you were getting stabbed in the heart. A million times over and over again. And you regret even accepting this. Telling him that you will help. It felt like you were dying. 
suffocating. You knew you were no match for her. But you didn't have to rub it in your face like that. Why? Why were you doomed to this? Xiao, I... I can't. He said at last, as he was eyeing a gift. And he looked up to you, tilting his head in surprise and concern. Are you alright? Did you get sick? What is it? I can't do this. You don't understand. You're hurting me. You're killing me, Shell. Oh, my on. Is it my karmic debt? Should I leave? Damn it. You are as stupid as ever when it comes to emotions. You will never understand. You will never get it. I love you. I have loved you for so long. And yet, you don't understand. You don't get it. You don't know what you're doing to me. You land this, you land that, and I'm right here. It hurts me. It makes me feel like I'm non-existent. It makes me feel like you've never seen me before. I'm only just a tool to you. Why on? That's not it. It's different. Besides, I never knew of your feelings. Shut up for a moment. Would you? I'm done here. I am done. I'm not letting myself be hurt any longer. I can't do this. If you need anyone's help, then surely I'm not the one to ask. I'm done. That's the last thing you said before you left. Only letting yourself cry once you have left the vicinity. Shad didn't chase after you. But you didn't expect him to. You knew he wouldn't care. You knew he never loved you. It only just hurt. How much of a reality that was. But you had to put up with that. That was the reality that you were going to live with for the rest of your life. It was something. It's better if you forget him. And it's better if he forgets about you too. Because that's how it was meant to be. Shao and you land together. And you, far away from them too, never daring to break their love. There may or may not be a part two to this. But I feel like we've got some closure with this, so that's it for today, guys. I hope you like this video, and that's an interruption for my cat, sorry. I don't know what's wrong with her, but regardless, if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and comment. And hopefully, <laughs> I will see you later. Bye-bye!